Hi, I'm Steve from Two Cat Media, and welcome to another video. In fact, well, welcome to the channel in general. Welcome, my friends. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys about a question I keep getting asked on a regular basis as regards these Holystone HD camera drones, and that is about using these a SD card. So any drone in the Holystone range. Uh, or at least the majority of them that film 1080p all the way up to 4k especially like the 720e the 720 or the 700e etc um, i get asked about which sd card to buy or what type uh, where it gets inserted i only can show you on this particular drone but i will show you and also about retrieving it as well uh, so i'm gonna we're gonna have a look at those kind of issues in this video so stay tuned and let's crack on Okay, so here we have Vader, lovingly called Vader. This is my Holystone HS720E. They are a good looking drone, I must admit. There's a few things that you need to make sure that you do to make sure that you don't lose out on your 4K footage. And that is to make sure that you stop your recording on your app or via the controller before you turn off the drone, otherwise you will potentially lose all information as well onto the SD card that you've just recorded and you don't want to do that. So, first of all, on this particular drone and other drones such as the 700E, the HS720 itself, etc., should all be quite similar. So you're gonna have a slot on the drone somewhere. This one's just under the front left arm. And if you get your SD card with the writing facing up, to insert the card, you just put it into the drone there. If I can do it while on camera. <laughs> there we go. And you should just be able to push it in and hear a click. Okay. And then to pull it out exactly the same, just push it in very slightly, hear the click, and then just pull it out. Okay. So that's that. So let me just put it around so we can see me. There you go. Okay, so first of all, let's have a look at the type of SD card that you need. Now it's gonna be a micro SD card. It's gonna be a class 10 and a U3. Now you need to make sure that you've got at least a class 10 in order to be able to have enough speed to be able to write and read onto the SD card when recording 4K especially. But to make sure, I, even in 1080p or the new 2.5K that they've seemed to have changed it to, that this speed then will be fast enough. So tank class 10 with a U3 rating should be more than enough. Now, this is 128 gigabytes. You don't particularly need that, but they will normally take up to 128 gigabytes. Uh, just check your manual and specifications just in case. Now, one thing I would advise with these is to buy a branded such as Integral, Sandisk, Kingston, uh, try not to buy a Chinese copy or any other copy for that matter as you may have problems later on with bad sectors or it not recording the footage maybe that you wanted. So this is the type of card that you want to get, a class 10 U3. Now to format this card you may be lucky to be able to just put it into this drone here and be able to reformat it uh, via the app the Filio Go app or MRC Pro app. So I'm going to show you how to do that in a moment, but I'm also as well going to show you on the computer how to format it using a micro SD card adapter here, such as this. And I'll show you that first, and then we'll have a look at the Filio Go app as well. And to put it in the adapter, you just put it into there if you need to, and then we're going to put this into the SD card slot on the computer. And then I'm going to show you how to format it into XFAT, which is probably the more preferred way of doing it. So let's have a look at that. Okay, so here we've put the SD card into the SD card reader or slot on your laptop or computer. And then you're on the desktop. So on Windows, it's gonna be different for Mac, but I'm sure you'll know how to do it, hopefully, if you're on Mac. Uh, so you wanna go down here to your file, and you just wanna open up your file folder here. We'll just make that a little bit bigger so you can see. And if we press the arrow here once or twice, we should be able to get up to our main kind of directories. Now you can see here that this uh, SDXC is the uh, the file 
folder for the SD card. Okay. Okay. So if you just double click on this, I just basically put some music on there just so you can see. So to format this, we're going to just right click on that and you open up this menu and then we're going to go down to format. You open up this little box here, which I put that in the middle. And this is the file system that I've been talking about. So you've got NTFS, which apparently you don't want to use. And you've got XFAT here, which is the default. Now, FAT32 is an older system, and it's one that may work, but this works better when allocating sizes of files. XFAT is what we want to use. And then you basically just press start. You can do a quick format. You can label it if you want. So I can put on HS720E drone or drone, <laughs> and then I'm going to press start, press OK, and there you go, format is now complete, and this is something that you want to do prior to using a SD card in your Holystone for HD recording for the very first time, because sometimes using the format function on the actual app doesn't always, for some reason, format it correctly, or it may format it in FAT32. So once you've done it via this route, and you can even do the same kind of thing on your mobile phone as well. Uh, once you've done that, what can happen then is you can format the, the SD card via the app then at will after that, and it seems to work fine. So now I've shown you how to do it on the PC for the first time, which is probably a better way of doing it, and to get that, rid of those kind of those initial problems. And now I'm going to show you how to do it on the Affilio Go and the MRC Pro app, how to format it and how to access your files. Okay, so here we are on the Affilio Go app. You see at the very, very top, just up here, my controller battery is getting quite low. Now, I have recorded a very, very short couple of seconds worth of video and snapped a couple of photos. Now, I just want to show you, first of all, that there's been a, a bit of a change since I last shown you, but my version number on Affilio Go is exactly the same. So if I press the cog at the top here for the settings, all this is exactly the same, and there's no, still no gyro calibration. But if you press the three lines underneath the red circle for the video and photo settings, it's different. So we're back here now on 4K at 30 frames per second and 1080p at 60 frames per second. So for some reason, it's just changed back, but I'm still on the same version number. Hmm. Now on the very bottom here, you can see you've got the word format and you can see how much memory you've used and the total amount your SD card has. So if you press format here, you get a option to confirm and then it will confirm basically wipe your SD card. Okay, so be very careful just in case you've got footage on there that you want to keep. What I'm going to do is show you how to access your HD versions of your photos and videos. Now you can see above the white circle just up here. So if you click onto that, you're going to see you've got options for photos and videos. Now these will be normally be your lower quality 720p. They're basically your cache versions as a kind of a backup. Now if you go to your SD micro SD card tab here, which is around here. We'll see here if we just go to that. We've got photos SD and videos SD. Now, I don't know why they call it SD for it should be HD really, but you can see here photos we've got two. They will normally download straight to your phone directly anyway, and your videos you will have to download. And I actually already downloaded this one. Now, when you download it to your phone, please be careful that you don't select the 720p cache version and get it mistaken and think, well, this is not very good quality, it's only 720p. So look into your, your media files, and then when you find the file that you want, there might be two versions of it. So just click and go to details of that particular file, and it should tell you if it's a uh, 4K or 1080p version, or if it's indeed a 720p. So don't get mixed up if you can help it, okay? So that is exactly how you would access those. Like it says to format it, you would click that to format it on Affiliate Go. If I now show you how to connect to the MRC Pro app and do exactly the same to that. So here we are on the MRC Pro app. Now I'm gonna start it up. There we go, click next. And you can see now it's already connected, so that's absolutely fantastic. Now the settings here, 
on the MRC Pro app are somewhat slightly different. You can still do your gyro calibration here, as you will see. So all the settings are slightly different. Now, again, to access your images, you just want to click on the play button above the white circle. And you see here, you've got a picture of a kind of outline of a phone here that will store your 720p. Even though it says HD video, it will be the 720p version. Now, on the SD card, which, which is where your 1080p and your 4K footage will go, you can click on 4K photos, uh, where you can download them straight to your phone there or if you go back, you've got your four Ultra HD 4K videos, which you can click on and then you can download there by clicking on that. And as you see there, the green bar will fill up and then it will download straight to your mobile device. So I'm just gonna kind of show you now on the phone, on my phone, where I access the 720p and the HD footage okay so on the phone to try and find the 1080p's or the 4k's uh, as opposed to the 720p's if you go to your gallery on an Android phone and go to your videos you see here if I just highlight these three here now these two with the blue ticks are exactly the same video so I'm just going to delete one of these just to stop confusion now you can see here we've got these two here okay so if you open up the first one first we just get rid of that and we go to the I button at the top for the information. You'll see this is a 1080p here. If I just double click there, you can see. So it's 1920 by 1080p. So that is the HD version. If we go back one and we open up the other file here and go to I, you'll see it's 1280 by 720p. So that's the lower quality cache version as well, okay? Another way of finding them as well will be if I go across to my files on my phone and go to videos. Now you can see here I've got AffiliateGo SD and AffiliateGo LC as well. So if I click to open that up there, it's exactly the same. I can go to my free dots and there you will see, hopefully, there we go, 1280 by 720. Okay, so if I go back one there, so that's in the LC folder. So just think lower quality LC. And if you go to the Affiliate Go SD is what I've downloaded. I can click onto that just, just to open it up and then go to the three dots. And then you'll see on the bottom here, it's 1920 by 1080p. Okay, so finally on this video, a quick conclusion to the video. A, make sure you buy a branded SD card, class 10, preferably U3 for the recording and the reading of especially 4K footage. So make sure you do that. Uh, B, make sure that you put your SD card into your drone and just take a few snapshots in a, in a few seconds of short video, just to make sure that your format and your SD card it actually works correctly and it stores it on there. If it does, great, uh, then you're all set to go more or less. Uh, if it doesn't, at least you know then you can try the formatting method like we spoke about in the video. Stick it on your computer, mobile phone, and whatever. I've shown you how to access your SD cards via the apps, the MRC Pro app and the Affiliate Go app as to which ones are 720p and which ones are the HD versions as well. And we also noticed as well, for some reason, the Affiliate Go app, uh, even though it's still missing the gyroscope calibration, and even though it's the same version number, the 2.5K and the 4K, that's disappeared now like it was, and it's back to 4K at 30 frames per second and 1080p at 60 frames per second. I do not know how uh, it's updated and changed to that because it's the same version number. And well, uh, I've, I haven't had any updates, so I don't know how it's changed. I, I am, I, I, I screwed over my head, I, I don't know. Okay, but either way, make sure you follow these points to try and make sure that you don't lose out on your 4K or your HD footage, okay? So listen, thank you for watching this video. I am gonna put links in the description below to the Holy Stone, to the 700E, to the 720E, etc. And I'll also put a link down below for the SD card that I currently use myself, which I kind of, it's worked fine for me. So have a look at that if you want. There will be affiliation links. If you have enjoyed this video, then please give it a big thumbs up. Any comments or questions as regards this video, then put them in the comment section below. And if you are new to the channel, and why wouldn't you be, eh? <laughs> you over there, then please press subscribe. There you go, press subscribe. And you too, my friend, can be part of the exclusive 
yet elusive community that is to cat media so oh and there is a facebook group as well and i've changed the name of it it was called budget and fun drum community it's just called a friendly and fun drum community now i've changed the name of it so i will put a link to the description in the description down below as well to that so come along join and say hello and share share and share your journey so until the next video stay safe and drawing on